going on guys morning it's the Chinook opener July 5th we're gonna go down uh, to the Columbia River find ourselves some uh, summer Chinook man it's early we're gonna get some fish let's see what time we got here 329 the coffee's brewing loading up the boat right now Go find some fishies. Got my camera bag. Got some tackle. Throw everything together. I'll get out there. All right, guys, we made it to the spot. Got out here this morning. We're gonna get some summer chinook. Yes, sir. Stay tuned. Ed's got a nice fish here, guys. You let me know when that fish gets close. Oh, man. What a run, huh? Oh, yeah. That was killer. Hey, you might want to get that quick fish out of the water if Casey cools over there. Okay. Oh, shit. He's over there. All right. Okay. So, good doing yep. video? Yep. Get him. Here, get over here. Yep. Might have to turn my motor on. All right. Boy, that's a nice heavy fish, dude. This might be a 20 pounder. You know it? Yep. It's a big fish. Having a good day, Ed, huh? Get that fish. Man, what a run, huh? Oh, yeah. That was a killer run. I'd like to get a look at her. You will. We're going right into that wall. See? She's under the boat. Oh, yeah. What a takedown. We're okay. We're drifting into those guys, so. We'll be all right. Please. Okay. I just want to put too much pressure. You need me to put it in forward, I will. Remember I told you about that cricket? Yeah. Oh. oh. That's a nice fish. That's an, oh my God, it's a big fish. Tell him. Get him. Nice fish. Toad. Hey, I didn't know. I didn't know you had the buoy on like that. Oh, I'm sorry. We just uh, just caught a nice, I don't know, 14, 15 pound summer Chinook. We feel pretty good about it. We drifted about, about what, 200 yards yeah. in? Yeah, you see. About 200 yards and, and finally got that fish in. and. Uh, once again, my GoPro battery died, didn't get the takedown, that's a little unfortunate, but we're just sitting on a hog line here, and the Columbia gave us, you know, five, five, six day opener. So we're out here making it happen, guys. One fish in the boat. Stay tuned, more fishing coming up. We got chances though. Yeah, we're one for five, by the way. We've hooked, we've hooked a lot of fish today. A couple of those I got on film, a couple of those takedowns, but the other ones I didn't. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Anyways, uh, the tide's gonna flip to incoming here. We might troll, depends on what the tide's doing, but. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I got my K15 quick fish right here. And uh, we've gotten three takedowns today so far, but I'm just kind of going to show you how to how to wrap your quick fish real quick. I don't anchor fish a lot, but I got my uh, my sardine here, grinding tuna. I'm going to try to make it square so it's symmetrical. So I'm going to take all this off right here. See, so now it's kind of a square bait, right? Then I'm going to take my scissors and go about halfway up. About right there.
Gonna flip that up. Gonna slide that through. About right there. Might take a little more off. Ah, oh, that'll be okay. Take your string. You wanna make sure it's pretty square on there. These first few wraps I'm gonna go kinda loose so I can so I can adjust it for squareness if I need to. But I actually like the way that's you wanna go a little tight with your string guys because you wanna be able to penetrate that skin a little bit, let the juices ooze out of that. And you're gonna go around the other side of the hook. You know, kind of put those together right there. Coming out all right. Bring that hook back over. Do some more. That's probably good. Then I'm going to do a couple half hitches. There's a half hitch there. There you go. It looks symmetrical. Nice and even on there. Might be a little bit extra here, but we'll put it in the water and see how it dives. But Throw some half hitches on that thing. Once you guys do it a lot, I don't do it a lot, but once you do it a lot, I mean, it'll become like no brainer, you know, second nature. But there we go. Got a nice clay fish wrap there. Put on the water. Water and try it out. See how, see how it swims. This is, this is, uh, this is the important part. If this thing don't swim right, it's because you put your bait on there wrong or it's not tuned correctly. But. We'll see how this goes here. I'll bring it up here. Oh, that looks perfect. See that? Swimming straight down, huh? Yep, it's swimming straight. It's not leaning to the left or right. So that's a decent wrap there. I don't do this a lot, like I said, guys. I don't do this whole anchor fishing thing a lot, but guy like me come out here anybody can do it you get get out on the river and look at that yep all right nice then you back it out right yep i just go until i hit bottom let's get down here a minute so i hit bottom right there so i'm gonna lift up and spool out yep. and just kind of bounce it a second let it plane out then you kind of just lift up Spool out, and you get you develop a motion to where the water will pick your bait up and kind of move it back. You know, I fish the 40-ish range myself, but that's all there is to it, guys. Hey, let's get a fish down. Yeah, let's get. All right, guys, July 5th, one summer in the boat. That was it. We're heading in now. We had a good time out there. We went one for five today. Um, yep. Got three takedowns on my rod, two on Ed's rod. Ed's rod stuck like a like no other. That thing buried, and uh, we're happy to have one fish. So stay tuned, guys. More fishing coming up in the near future. Appreciate that summer Chinook opener, even though we should probably get more days. But uh, at any rate, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. More content coming up. Tight lines.